All right, well, we're back here to talk about something else. After the phases of the moon, we're going to talk, talk about the rise and set times for, for particular phases of the moon. We're, so we're going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to write it here. Here's what you can write. The rise set. And if you can't read this, just listen. The rise set and also the meridian crossing. Meridian crossing times for particular phases of the moon. The rise set meridian crossing times for particular phases of the moon. I don't know if this helps. Look. Can you see it? Probably not. I don't know what I'm, I can't, I, the computer's faced away from me. I'm not, I can't see really anything. I don't even know if you see this. Look, okay. Rise set meridian crossing times for particular phases of the moon. Can you check something? No, it's, I'm just showing them this close up. All right. So if you didn't get that down, who cares? I don't care. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what you need to know. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to put in Earth. Looking down at the North Pole. Call it Earth. All right? The Earth, looking down from North, rotates counterclockwise like this. So it spins on its axis counterclockwise looking from North. Let's put rays from the sun like we did last time. I don't know if you can see this, but that's good enough. Here, I'll put use orange. Rays from sun, RFS. If you're not going to remember what that means, write down rays from sun, which means the sun's somewhere way off this way. Now, let's just look at the times again, all right? Let's look at the times on the Earth. Remember, times are just based on where the sun is at a particular time. We always, I mean, daytime, nighttime, or in relation to the sun, of course. So, let's, uh, let's do that. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to shade it dark over here, all right? Nighttime on the Earth. Daytime. And if the Earth's carrying you around this way, doesn't that mean if you're standing right there, it is noon for you. The sun is as high as it gets. Now, the sun is not always going to, it's not always going to be directly overhead at noon. And for us, living or being in California, uh, in the North Bay, it's never directly overhead. But just the highest the sun gets, it's going to be at noon. Noon is when the sun gets to be highest. Now, six hours later, because it takes the Earth, remember, 24 hours to rotate, it'll be, when you're standing there, it's 6 p.m. or so. Let's call that 6 p.m. I know it the sun does not always set at 6 p.m. In the winter for us, it sets earlier. In the summer, it sets later. But let's just keep it at 6, just kind of like an average time that the sun sets. Six hours later, midnight. Now, you notice I'm not using the terms 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. The reason I'm not using those terms is that those terms do not mean anything, even though people use them. 12 p.m., it should just be, it's, it's noon, all right? There's no such thing as 12 p.m. If you want to say 12 and a, and a letter, you don't say p.m. P.m. stands for post-meridium. A.M. stands for ante-meridium. It means a, a meridian is halfway across the sky. So at noon, the sun is directly on the meridian, which means a line from north to south. So, noon could be called 12 m, but no one says that. So, we're going to call it noon. No, not 12 a.m., not 12 p.m., noon, when the sun is as high as it gets. When the sun is as low as it gets, in the middle of the night, we're calling it midnight. We're not calling it 12 a.m. In reality, there is absolutely no such thing as 12 a.m., even though people use it. The problem is people use things long enough, and then people think, ah, it, it, it's, it's real, it's accurate. No. It doesn't make, it's really, it, it doesn't mean anything. It's noon and it's midnight. Yeah, 6 p.m. means something. 6 post-meridium and, oh, what about morning? 
What about six hours after midnight? 6 a.m., right? That does mean something. That's, that's okay. That's okay. These are okay. All right. Done talking about that. Now, let's put the moon into the equation. What I'm going to do is this. We're going to say the moon is right here. Call it moon. What phase would that be? If it's in the same direction as the sun. Yeah, it's a new moon. So what I'm going to do is ask you questions here. I want you to be able to figure out what time this moon is going to be at its highest in the sky, which is said to be on the meridian, what time it rises, and what time it sets. Now, you really would not see a new moon, but we could figure out the times of when it would rise, when it would set, when it would be halfway across the sky. The first thing I want you to do is this. Think of a new moon here. I would want you, once, you, once I put a moon here, I say, hey, what time is a new moon as high as it gets for you? Well, what you do is you draw a line from the moon to the earth and imagine a person standing there. Imagine you're standing right there. Now, remember, we already talked about the times. What time would it be to have, a, if the new moon is here, what time would it be over your head? Isn't it noon? So you figure out what time it's over your head by drawing a line to the earth. It's over your head at noon or as high as it gets at noon. I shouldn't say or on the meridian at noon, halfway across the sky. Well, if I were to ask you what time is a new moon going to set, because it's over your head when the sun's as high as it gets too, right? When the sun's as high as it gets, if it's in the same direction as the sun, that's when the moon would be as high as it gets. All you have to do is add six hours. And if you have the moon over your head here, if the earth rotates and the earth rotates and the earth rotates, by the time you got right there, the moon would go, be going down. So that is six hours ahead. So a new moon would set at about 6 p.m. Well, what time did it mean it comes up? If, it, if it's as high as it gets it at, at noon and it sets at 6 p.m., what time did it rise? When did it first come up? Well, you subtract six hours. And if you were here six hours earlier at 6 a.m. when the sun rose, that's when the new moon would rise. So the rule is this. You first of all figure out what time it's over your head by drawing a line to the earth and seeing what time that is. Look, noon, right? Halfway through that. So remember, kind of remember this picture. Then, if you want to figure out what time it rose, you subtract six hours. Six hours subtracted from noon, 6 a.m. If you want to see what time it's going to set, you add six hours from noon. Add six hours from noon, you get 6 p.m. That's a new moon. Let's put a moon over here. Let's say about a week later, the moon is here. What phase is that? First quarter. What time is this moon as high as it gets for you on the meridian? Look at this. Draw a line from the moon to the earth. What time is that? It's as high as it gets for you at 6 p.m. Using the same rule, what time did the first quarter moon rise? When would you first see it? Well, if it's 6 a.m., you wouldn't see it if it's there, Earth's in the way. You would first see it six hours before 6 p.m., which is noon. So it would rise at noon, if it's first quarter, be over your head at 6 p.m., and it's going to set six hours later when you're right over here at midnight. That's when it would set. So again, first thing, figure out what time it's as high as it gets on the meridian. Subtract six hours to see what time it, it rose and add six hours to see what time it's going to set. Let's go a week later. What is that? Opposite the sun. We're going to see all the lit up part full. Full moon. What time is it as high as it gets? Midnight. Look, we drew a line. Midnight. Full moon is going to be as high as it gets for you at midnight. If there's a full moon... If there's a full moon on a particular day and someone says, hey, what time is it going to be as high in the sky as it possibly can get? There is the answer, midnight. That means what time did it rise? Subtract six hours. Because remember, Earth's rotating this way. So if it's midnight for you, six hours earlier, isn't that 6 p.m.? A full moon rises at about 6 p.m. It rises when the sun's setting. It's opposite the sun. So if the sun's setting and there's a full moon, you're going to have the full moon rising. So it rises at 6 p.m., as high as it gets at midnight, or we say on the meridian, and it's going to set six hours later, 6 a.m. Now, let's go ahead. Another week. What phase is this? This would be a third or last quarter, right? Well, let's figure it out. You tell me, what time is it as high as it gets for you? We're on the meridian. Remember, draw your line. Where would you have to be? You'd have to be there. What time is that? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. The third quarter moon is as high as it gets. On the, it means it's on the meridian, halfway across the sky. Again, the meridian is a line between, from north to south through uh, across the sky. This for a celestial meridian. So it's as high as it gets at 6 a.m. What time did it rise? Subtract six hours. Third quarter moon, if there's a third quarter moon, it rises at midnight. It's as high as it gets at 6 a.m. What time is it going to set? Noon. You see that? So you always figure out what time it's over your head 
and then just add, as, well, first subtract and then add to figure out what time it rose and what time it's going to set. Now, I wanted to just throw a couple of oddball ones in here. Let's say I put it here like a three and a half day old moon, which would be a what? Wouldn't that be a crescent? Let's say this is a 3.5 day old crescent. The same kind of rules apply. Look at this. You have to figure out what time's as high as it gets for you, draw a line here. Now we didn't put the times in here, but you could figure it out. If you are if 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 the earth carries you from here to there, halfway between, wouldn't you be right there? Isn't that between noon and 6 p.m.? What time is it if you're halfway between noon and 6 p.m. for you? Isn't that 3 p.m.? So this three-day old crescent, approximately three and a, or three and a half day old, is as high as it gets for you at about 3 p.m. So we use the same rule. Subtract six hours to see what time it rose. So subtracting six hours, wouldn't that mean that you were right over here? And isn't that between 6 a.m. and noon? What time would that be? Yeah. That's 9 a.m. A three and a half day old crescent rises at about 9 a.m. is as high as it gets at about 3 p.m. And it's going to set six hours after that. When you're right out here, that's when you see it going down, which would be, what, 9 p.m. So it rises at 9 a.m. is as high as it gets for you at this position here between noon and 6 p.m. at 3 p.m. and it'll set at 9 p.m. What if we have a moon that's here? Remember, that's gibbous. That's a gibbous moon. And if this is about 15 days old and this is about 22, let's say, I don't know, 18 and a half. I don't know. It doesn't matter. 19 day old uh, gibbous. So there's a gibbous moon, about 19 day old. Let's do the same thing just to make sure you, get, you can get this down. Let's see what time that moon is as high as it gets for you. If there's a 19 year old gibbous, and then draw a line here. Isn't that between, it's as high as it gets for you when you're standing here between midnight and 6 a.m.? What time is that? Isn't that 3 a.m.? It's over your head, or as high as it gets for you at 3 a.m. Well, let's use the same rule. Subtract six hours to see what time it rose. You would first write, when you're right here, that's when you see this moon come up. What time is this? Isn't that between 6 p.m. and midnight? 9 p.m. This moon would rise at 9 p.m be as high as it gets for you at 3 a.m. And then it would set when you're right about here, which is about, what, 9 a.m. So it rises at 9 p.m. for this moon. is overhead as high as it gets for you at 3 a.m. And sets at 9 a.m. All right. There are some homework questions to practice with this. And for that, and the full moon, consider a full moon's about 15 days old. I think there's a, so just approximately, that's good enough. I mean, 14.6, 15 days, I assume it's about that. Uh, and so just do it on the homework, practice that, and uh, just see how you do. And let me know if you're having problems with this. This is kind of tricky, but I think once you get this down, you're, you're good. And there are going to be some questions about this on exam four. So it's going to exam four is pretty much moon, moon stuff and space program. That's for, for the most part. All right. Well, just do your best. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.